Hi family. So for the last few days we've been talking about fear. First we talked about possible ways of dealing with it and why you should. And then yesterday we talked about the fear of feeling love and expressing it. Today I want to talk about something that's along those same lines, but it's another malady of this society and that is our fear of being loved. Now when we say that, of course you're going to go, well, who doesn't want to be loved? I have a test for you. Here's an example, some a little barometer, if you will, of maybe an indication if you are some, one of those people. If somebody told you you look magnificent today, what would your response be? Notice the next time somebody pays you a compliment how you do respond. Because if you say anything other than thank you, you might have a little bit of a fear of being loved. Now, typically, for instance, the only way the say but the best way and the most kind way to to deal with a compliment is just to say thank you and accept it for several reasons. One, because the person just gave you a gift, a gift of love, even if it was a stranger, and even if it was in a way that maybe you didn't like so much, but they were sharing something with you, and so you should appreciate it. That's one reason, but here's another reason, because. If you say anything other than thank you, if you challenge what they've told you, yes you. If they challenge what they've told what you what you told them, like if you say something back like, um, oh no, it's the, this old shirt or oh gosh, well I my hair's a mess or whatever, you just rebuffed their compliments. You just ripped them off of feeling good about giving you the gift of that compliment. And secondly, you not only didn't let your subconscious mind hear that compliment, let your spirit soak that in and feel that love and that truth of that you're beautiful, but you actually countered it out loud with something that rebuffed it to you. So you ripped that person off and you ripped you off. So quit ripping people off and let them love you for real. Because you know what? If you're not ready to love yourself yet, then pretend. <laughs> that you believe them. Just say thank you in that example. But by letting people love you, not only does it do something for them because that's the love they get to feel, but it helps you grow because they just gave you a tremendous energy force. That's the most prevalent thing that God gave us as a blessing is the power to love. You gave them that gift and you gave yourself the gift of being loved and letting yourself to be loved. So with that, I love you. <laughs> and if you got benefit from this video and you're not my friend already, send me a friend request. I accept them all. And if we are friends and you really got benefit from it, then share it. You never know who needs to feel like you love them. You can love them by sharing a message. So with that, everybody, I love you. <laughs> Have a very blessed day.